Greetings, folks. We are here in beautiful El Dorado Hills, California on Powers Drive to do something I know you've been waiting for. We've been doing a lot of comparisons between road bikes and recumbent trikes, usually climbing comparisons, but today we are going to do something in which the recumbent trike should have a distinct advantage. It is a roll down test. Woo! <laughs> Today we're at approximately 1,000 feet of elevation in the California foothills to conduct a roll down and up test. Picture a free moving pendulum that when dropped should rise to almost the same height on the other end of its throw, slowed only by whatever forces, gravity, wind, or other type of resistance that might affect its travel. The section of Powers Drive that we're working with runs around an eighth of a mile downhill with a descending grade of 9% then rapidly turns back up again, running another eighth of a mile uphill with an ascending 9% grade. This section of road will act as our pendulum. Today we'll be testing a road bike against a recumbent trike, so let's get rich to the top of the hill. Okay, one, two, three, go. The road bike that Rich is riding today is a Kalfi Tetra Pro, which weighs in at 18 pounds. Notice Rich put his hands down in the drops to try and make himself as aerodynamic as possible. We'll be making four runs with the road bike today, then four runs with the recumbent trike, and averaging the distances of each to see if we can come up with a clear winner. Here comes the road bike now. Try and get a sense in relation to the camera of just where the road bike stops. All right, let's try a run with the trike. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. The trike Rich is riding today is an ICE VTX, one of the most aerodynamic trikes on the market. The VTX weighs in at 36 pounds. I was surprised in the amount of variation we experienced with the four bike runs and also surprised in the variation we had on the four trike runs. Still, by the end of this test, it was easy to determine a definitive winner. I don't want to ruin the surprise for you, but take a look at the trike as it comes up the hill here. Try and remember where the bike stopped and get a load of where this trike stops. To make everything perfectly clear, we have a split screen here with the bike on the right and the trike on the left. Remember, the camera is in the exact same position on both of these shots, so try and focus on how close the bike or trike actually gets to the camera at the end of its run. Here we took the average of the four road bike runs and put Rich's Tetra Pro in that exact spot. Then we ran a trike run across it for comparison. This was the shortest of the trike runs. This was the longest of the trike runs. This also helps to give you an idea of the variation we were experiencing in the runs. At the end of the day, Every run on the trike was longer than every run on the road bike, and when averaged out and compared, the trike was rolling a whopping 64 feet further than the bike. Our conclusion is that, even when riding the road bike in the drops, the trike has a dramatic aerodynamic advantage, which allows it to pick up more speed on the downhill and travel further on the uphill leg of the trip. You can say what you want about the added rolling resistance of that third wheel, but this test would appear to indicate that the trike's aero superiority outweighs any advantages that the road bike might have when it comes to descending. Now we just have to figure out a way to experience those thrilling descents while avoiding those pesky uphill climbs. Hey, whatever you ride, get out there and have a good time. Thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.